This ain't no fucking coincidence. This boat was going on its journey, and all of a sudden, it decided to do a goddamn U-turn. Now stick with me, no, because this shit ain't really making sense. When it hit its U-turn, it went back. Then, that's when y'all see in the video when the light flickering in and out, you feel me? Like, the boat losing power. And all of a sudden, it just hit the goddamn bridge. Make this shit make sense. What's so crazy, it get more deeper than this. Check this out. Crash here, but you can see dynamite being let off at every single point. I'm gonna do it again. So you have here, 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 charges, boom. Check it out again. In the copy before that you can clearly see it happened six or seven times. I went right down the line showing each and every fire point. But my point to this video is let's not get distracted by this here. While everyone's talking about this bridge and the ship that took it out, how many of you heard about the bridge in Ohio from this morning? Fox News did an article on it out of Ohio. Cause of massive flames under Valley View Bridge revealed. They're saying a large fire reportedly caused by spontaneous combustion was broke out at Kurtz Bros Incorporated near the I. 480 Valley View Bridge early Tuesday morning. Odd. Have you ever known a bridge to just spontaneously combust the same exact day that a cargo ship, as you can see right here, takes out another bridge in Maryland? You know what? I, you know, people call me conspiracy theorist, and, and you know what? You're probably right. There's probably nothing to worry about. Two bridges in the same day, one spontaneously combined.